Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot roamed the land in search of adventure, battling beasts, helping the helpless, and generally being very heroic. But then one day, he discovered something rather curious. A world he never knew existed. In the rich tapestry of the PC gaming community, modders are one of the most inspiring subcultures. In fact, some of the most popular genres today started as PC gaming mods. Right now, modders Sean FMP1 Snelling and Corey Lado are making something incredibly special in the form of an ambitious mod for Half-Life Alex. It's called Levitation. It's an original four to five hour campaign that builds on Valve's original VR game, Half-Life Alex. With Alex searching for a pair of rebels gone rogue, they've discovered a strange floating building in Sector X and decided to investigate it, against orders, obviously, and now it's your turn. Let's go back to the world of Gordon, G-Man, and Alex with this exclusive gameplay footage. Alex, according to this old resistance map, there's a control room somewhere outside the building you're in. Sorry if that's vague, the map was drawn using somebody's blood. Alex, I'm detecting an incredibly large energy signature up ahead. It's probably Gordon Freeman, and not anything bad at all. Definitely, uh, definitely, probably Gordon Freeman. Okay, so the plan is to get to that control room and get Gordon.
Nice. Cells left. Oh boy. Good afternoon, agents. Your mission is simple. Infiltrate the Frozen Coral Underwater Hotel and retrieve the blueprint of a powerful weapon. As you know, Deceive Inc.'s company policy is to deploy multiple agents to ensure the mission's success. But only one will get the paycheck. Do whatever it takes, agent, and be careful out there. Try your best. Let's see if it's enough. Booyah! ka -ching! Oh, come on. They can't be this fast. Then they thought it was secure. In the end, I am victorious. They're really not going to make it easy for me. Gotcha. <laughs> Is that it? Right on target. Outskilled and outgunned. It can't end like this. Target acquired. Moving to rendezvous point. All done. Really? Mission complete!
to get remembered. Each single struggle will be the fight for your life as enemy of the state. Ima. <laughs> Hola, Imui. This rebellion is at an end. The Agathians flee to their stronghold in the north. This land is mine! Now Denosia rises from the south. Kill them all! Throw the dogs back into the desert. Their forces will crash and break against the bulwark. If the wall falls, we must retaliate. Ready the ships! Long has Sinosia remained safe from my fury. No more. They dare to strike out at us. Their city will fall. Their people will bleed. Their knowledge will burn. My reign will never end. Sorted. Anything else? Warning. The current temperature of Earth is approaching 100 million degrees Celsius. Oh, great. Puzzles are the most efficient way of generating entropy energy. As an Entropy Center employee, the continued existence of this station and Earth depends on your energy generation.
Okay, so solve puzzle, brain hurts, generate energy, then rewind Earth. Exactly. If you're dead, I'm sending you back. You're gonna take another run at them. But this time, you gotta play together. We're gonna rewind as many times as it takes. If you could listen to the noise of history, then you would hear by the sounds of the Victorian age that the world changed forever. The roar of the engines, the bangs from new factories, and the cries in the streets calling out for revolution. In Victoria 3, we simulate this era, 100 years starting in 1836, and put you in charge of a young society. You will meet the people back then, high and low, over cultures across the globe. They are the beating heart of your nation and form powerful groups with needs and desires. Listen to their calls and let it influence reform or turn a deaf ear to protect what is proven and stable. Your politics will decide where you want to go, but your economy, how far you'll come. Taxes, production, trade and construction. Play these cards right and you can harness the Industrial Revolution to turn your cities into titans. This is the engine you will need on the global stage Use pacts, threats, and bluffs to secure your place in the sun. Anything done by war can be achieved with diplomacy, but you can decide when push comes to shove. Here you write the stories, and over time, the history of your world will be carved into the map. What will your society be like? What is the sound that will echo over continents and be heard over the noise of time 
as you create your grand tomorrow. Corrupted what? Why is it always doing this just when I need to showcase the game? Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna that here. Just, have you tried turning it off and on again? Yes, I have. The update to System 10.1.1 will provide a clean sorting of all your files and ensure that situations like this won't ever happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody's updating me. That's the thing. <laughs> nope. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, but we'll pass. Okay, so I do have a backup of the trailer. While I go rummage into the bin for it, please welcome my personal assistant. That will do a great job at pitching the game for you. Uh, talk about how cool I am in the story and how funny and witty. <laughs> you, you know, just talk about me. Found it! Ah, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer. Okay, who had the amazing idea to save the trailer back up in 14.4 pixels? Do we have any ants working for us? What? <laughs> Peggy 18. Humans interfacing with computers for, 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 for their own entertainment. The very notion disgusts me. Look upon my works, foul creatures, and weep at its magnificence. It is a beautiful day on Citadel Station. Citadel Station. Humanity is on. is on the verge of a new era. I, Shodan, am its new god. Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? You are an insect. You are nothing. I create, I iterate, I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. My 
children. Hacker. Their blood is on your hands. You will suffer for your transgressions. Transgressions. These are my uh, 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 avenging angels, and they will have retribution. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. 
So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. 
we have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settle Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. But that's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool, we just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines, to shields, to weapon systems, because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted.
We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Play it day one with Game Pass.
baby! Thank <laughs> you.